<laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? Draconic Games here with the fuck. What episode is this? I will cert. I will look at it in a second. I have to see. I will. S I'll, I'll do my intro in a second. I have to do this. Grab the gun. Grab the gun. Grab the gun. Uh, grab the X. Grab the X. Protect my family. I did it! I did it! Last second! We did it! We did it! We did it! Yeah! We did it! Okay. Had to grab that suitcase. It could have gotten me more. Could have. Oh. Fuck! At least we got some water. Uh, what's up, guys? Um, what's up, everybody? Um, Dracon Games here with the 10th episode of 60 Seconds. I am here without a fucking radio. The one thing, the one goddamn thing we need to, uh, to complete, or, yeah, to complete this game. We will not hear about it unless we get that fucking radio. So, plus I want to look at the achievements, so. find a new friend. All of us made it all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. Okay. Uh, we remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out, being messy can really work in your favor. Plus one, water. Hey, look what we found in the suitcase we grabbed upstairs. Good thing we didn't unpack our holiday luggage. It's just canned soup. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another uh, one, but we're we're sure, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. Pretty sure. Okay, you want to look at the achievements for the game quickly? Wait, hold on. I want to see if I got one. Uh, I want to know if I. Oh, we got that the first episode. Oh, so we got the got him get them all achievement. That's good. So So uh the Enola Gay is the is win a game in every mode on little boy difficulty. That means that doesn't mean just the apocalypse, like where it's both. You have to win one. Uh, I think you also have to win it through the tutorial and the, uh, or actually maybe the challenge. Rescue from someone from the bandits. Always say yes and win. So, so, yeah. Anyways, spent five minutes or 
probably probably four minutes going through achievements in the intro. So none of them need food. How about that trip to Nevada we've been postponing for a while now? Maybe we should go there. That's our first stop after we get out of here. Yeah, because Nevada is a good fucking place. Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying it out loud. Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will it last? Today's been fine to for Dolores thus far. Ted is fine. Okay. Um, Ted is fine. Yeah. Time to ration supplies. No anything. Oh, now that I'm looking at the drawing drawings. That's a perfect um, depiction of Mary Jane. We are not going to start with fat ass this time. Almost every time we start with her, she breaks the gas mask. And comes back with a cold that spreads to everyone else, apparently. What is that? What is that? It seems like a distant rumble. But it's getting louder. And why is everything shaking? Oh god! It's a quake! Grab something! Hold on! Ah! Grabbing something so we don't lose it. Who the fuck needs a flashlight? We need a gas mask more. I figured that that was gonna happen. We can always find another flashlight. Everyone okay? Let's hope so. We need to make a proper. We need to make a proper inspe inspection. That was one nasty earthquake. We never used to get such bad ones before. It's all because of the atoms. Definitely the atoms. No one should mess with the atoms. No one. Minus one flashlight. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Yes, okay. We will uh, fill fat ass with some water. Because she really needs that instead of that apple juice she gets every single night. She sneaks it away. When she's done, she runs right back down. We've even set mice traps for her. I say mice traps for why the fuck why would they set mice trap for it? She'd probably step on it. It probably wouldn't defaze her because of all the fat. Okay. Uh some water for Timmy would be nice. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. Uh Ted if Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. So they all need water. That's why we saved that for you. Um, we saved that. I'm gonna let you go out first. See if you can do better than anyone else. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Timmy went out to the wasteland, and we don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Yeah, I know it'll be very sad. <laughs> uh, today was relatively calm for Dolores. No new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. Yeah, woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like, like someone or something was watching us. We could have sworn we noticed some movement in the shadows. If anything besides us uh, is alive in the bunker, it's time to teach it who's the boss or who. We're not going to draw attention to us. We're going to be silent. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite dead. Maybe the, there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty little holes. Mary Jane ha isn't worried, or at least she's not saying it out loud. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Ted is fine. That trash can of ours is getting disgusting. After five days? 
The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yet for some reason, we would like to tidy this mess up. Those giant green cockroaches are a pretty big, pretty good motivator. Well, this will give, get us close to the achievement. Yes, look at that giant green cockroach in the bottom left. The one that's right over here. It's, it's disgusting. Get it away! Oh my, that thing is huge. And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere! We're doomed! We're already feel all dirty! Alright, we should get uh, Mary Jane something to eat. Drink! Uh, Dolores will not last long without water. Where is water when Ted needs it? Alright, have some water. I'm guessing that's what you need. I don't know why y'all would need that, but I guess y'all can have it. Uh, uh, what about that lake we've been going to for the past few years? It would be so good to find ourselves there, far away from all this madness. Swim a little, maybe take a boat and ride. Even if the whole place turned into Adamville. First Nevada, now the, now the lake. Timmy's back. He seems exhausted. Did he get anything? Oh god, Timmy's close to the fuse. As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. We were so afraid... Did he only bring a water bottle back? We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. The sweet, sweet prospect of government aid. They, hey, we're no commies, but essentially planned during, help during the apocalypse is something we're really looking forward to. Our, our expedition excited the shelter right before the airdrops. Started falling out of the sky. That was a really long pause. <sighs> One of the food drops broke in midair and it's now raining soup! It's raining soup! Hallelujah! It's raining soup! Alright, uh, lucky for us if you can survive the fall. Some crates were filled with some weird, very weird stuff. Why do they drop a crate full of rubber ducks? At least one of the smaller crates had a few water bottles in it. Water bottles in it. Hey, Jane's quite hungry. Timmy should eat something if Timmy is really tired. Dolores would really love something to eat that is hungry. They're all hungry. That's... Oh no, he brought two water bottles back. That's good. Maybe. No, he brought one. I agree with that statement. There are only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker. So we thought, hey, why not play the same games? They're not just for kids, you know. No, they're not just for kids. Tricks are just for kids. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. We played I Spy and it, we played I Spy and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored of the letter W. I don't see that much of the letter W. Wait, weapon. Wumbo! Alright. Mary Jane isn't worried. Or at least she's not saying it out loud. Timmy should eat something. If there was something to report about Dolores, this is where it would have been written. Ted, this morning has been calm for enough for Ted, and he's dead. So he needs food. I'm gonna send her a Because it looks like her face won't break the um, gas mask. We're not getting out of here without a radio, so... If we 
can't find one, then fuck us. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Timmy is very hungry, and we can't live. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she makes. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Ted should drink something soon. All right. Timmy's still hungry, and they all need water. So water. We always wanted a pet, but we could, but we just couldn't decide to what to get. A cat? A dog? No matter. We have our very own cockroach colony now. Unless we want them to stay and get play fetch, we should start doing something to drive them out. Um, though the fetch option is quite likely. They're as big as small puppies. We've won the battle, and maybe the maybe even the whole war. After the massacre was over, we tidied up the cockroach remains and dumped them in next to our shelter door. Let that be a warning to all those other insects out there. Don't mess with us! Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Like the good scout he is, Timmy is making the best out of the situ situation. Situation. He, se he, he even seems cheerful. That is fine. Open in the name of freedom! Came a shout from the outside of the room. We weren't, we, we weren't sure who, um, who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill on something in the name of freedom. Should we open it? We regretted opening that door the minute we saw it was standing on the other side. Dark faces, rifles, and de um, determined looks of a band of teenagers. We're doomed, we thought. Then out of the blue, one of them asked us if we were with the Reds. We've never supported the Red Sox, so we confidently said that we were. The tension dropped immediately, and those nice young people gave us two bottles of water. Yay! They also told us um, to have no fear since Wolverines are around. We're not sure what Wolverines have to do with, with all this, but we took their word for it. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. since we showered. The smell in this tiny shelter is as far from roses as we can get. We had thought of washing ourselves. Too bad we didn't grab any soap along the way, but maybe we can make do with something else. Yeah, we're gonna use ammunition to clean ourselves. The horse is back. And of course she'd break the gas mask. Dirty or not, the smell... It's the smell that... That's... Dirty or not, the smell that it's the smell that's the biggest issue here. How do we deal with that? Well, we've got some spare ammo. Why not? Why not use a gunpowder to kill the smell? Yeah, let's rub it in. It sounds like a brilliant idea. Brilliant! We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. When scavenging for supplies, no one should check every. One should check every possible corner, even if it doesn't seem promising. With that in mind, we ventured into the ruins of the local bank, hoping to find something more than piles of useless pre-apocalypse coins. Oh, four food! Holy shit! She she brought some good stuff back, well, and we got a little water too. It looks like the bank was robbed just before the blast. That vault was cracked open with saws, hidden in hidden in teddy bears. Who does that? Anyway, we can see why they wanted the rabbit so badly. The place was filled with tomato soup cans. How did it end up here? Maybe the mail had it delivered to a bank instead of a food bank. That would have been... Um, that would have been... Just would have been uh, embarrassing. 
we found a shopping bag on the floor um, next to the counters. It contained a couple of rotten bananas, a hand cream, a pair of bunny slippers, and some bottled water. Tempting as all of these treasures may have been, we limited ourselves to taking the water. Damn it! Our, great, our gas mask was damaged during the expedition. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. How about getting um, Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Dolores is really tired. Ted needs water to slot. This is survive. Alright, everyone but Dolores needs water. She needs food. Keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own. We could do it on our own. The escaping part, not the running part, of course. I mean, not the ruining part, of course. What the fuck? However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. Can't really do that. We don't have a fucking radio. There's one thing we need to do is to use the radio on a regular basement to rate bases to catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that or it's strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. The first option sounds a bit more sane. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling situation. She looks fine today. She is not. She, she looks fine as in like she might be okay, but she's not fine. No. No. She's too, she has too many roles. Uh, like the good Scotty is, Timmy is making the best out of this situation. He even seems cheerful. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Ted is hungry. So, the parents are hungry and that's it. let her use the luggage just in case we don't really need the luggage but it might help her bring some other stuff back so right. Mary Jane went outside let's hope she hurries back soon like the good scout he is Timmy is making the best of his situation even he even he seems cheerful situation situation Dolores has not eaten for a while. If there's uh, one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. So Dolores needs both. We know very little about what's going on outside. It, it'd be a good idea to find out more. Maybe discover if anyone else made it to safety. A radio could help us with this. Or help with this. Can't really do it. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Timmy should eat something. We can't leave Timmy without water too long, so Timmy needs both. The Lord is fine and well as much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. Ted is really thirsty. So Timmy needs both, Ted needs water. Water, both. We've always wanted to throw a party with a huge cake. For some reason it never worked. One time we were promised a great cake and it turned out it was a lie. That was a disappointment. We weren't glad we were, we were definitely getting a cake when the radioactive clouds were gone. Playing far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now, we should be more interested in our plan for water rationing. Jimmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Everything seems okay with Dolores. No new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. 
When someone knocked on the door, we were suspicious and cautious, but after a few minutes of talking, it um, turned out it was just a group of old ladies who were at a tea party not far from here when the bomb struck. We thought it, it would only be good manners to talk to them face to face. When we, when we opened the door, those old bats attacked us with their umbrellas, canes, and something that looked like a spiked um, table leg. We need to fight back. We're not gonna draw attention to ourselves. Fight him with the axe! Some axe action was enough to send their, those cowards running. Bet your ass they won't be coming back. Vermin like that are never a long time. They, cr they crawl out of shadows when the night comes. Let's keep our axe sharp. Yeah, when it's gone. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Dolores will not last long without water. Ted seems to be doing right. Even though this world has gone to such a... Uh, gone to... Sh gone to sh a crappy place. Hey, we can just... It can be such... No, never mind. It can be... Alright, Dolores need to water? Yeah. A stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow uh, filled with all kinds of goods stopped by today. He claimed he was a trader looking for to barter, barter some items. Um, barter, uh, looking to bar um, barter for some items he required. Alright, we can use the water. And that, and the cars are going to be have so. After making the trade, the man packed his things into the wheelbarrow and departed. Before leaving, he uttered something about bandit activity, activity nearby and how dangerous the area was. How about how about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking too well. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a gr good mood today. We we hope it's still it'll stay this way. So Timmy needs something. To drink. Ted says drink something. So the guys need drinks. We were about to start our book club discussion on the only book we've all read, the phone book. We're all interrupted by a rapid knock at the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. They were doing much worse than us. They begged us to provide them with any water, food, or medical supplies we could spare. I'll give them the food. I'll give them some food. We have enough. Mary Jane's back. She's useful! She's useful! Next one. We got a radio, guys. We got a radio. This might be promising. Oh. Our visitors were in tears when they gave, when we gave them what they asked for. We survived a nuclear apocalypse only to be nearly strangled by, a f by thankful refugees. Hugs can kill, you know. Luckily for us, they decided to continue their journey to get somewhere safe before the sunset. As they were about to leave, one of them presented us with a portable radio. They would not take no for an answer and soon left, waving some, waving goodbye until they disappeared. So she's still not useful. Okay. Fuck you, Mary Jane. You're still not useful. We did that. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter um, from the surface. Okay. Our little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. Oh, God. We were not alone outside uh, outside the shelter. At first, it's, at first it seemed like, uh, like the creature stalking us was... About to get itself a tasty dinner. To our relief, it turned around. To, it turned out to be a friendly monkey. It joined our expedition. Yeah, that's pro that's probably uh, that's probably Mary Jane. She probably turned around and noticed it was a monkey. Oh wait, no, it wasn't Mary Jane. 
at one point during our expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and, and digging in front of us with a stick. A quick investigation revealed, revealed a few bottles of water. No one even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those bottles of booze lying next to them. Okay. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Mary Jane is really tired. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Uh, today's been fun for Dolores. That's why I would something. So, so um, the two fatty food. Awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. We won't know until we find out. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. But we'll have to leave eventually. It would be a good. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble. If that's even possible in this situation. Situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy has has had comics about those, so you must you, you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. We luckily we can, because we traded. And if we, and if I uh, do pass this one. Like, I might give this, um, this, this, uh, thing a little break, but when, when I do a lot, when I do a lot of the series to come back, I'm probably going to bring in another series. Like, when the series goes out, I'm probably going to bring in another series. So, if I do pass this episode, I will be, I will still take a break from this, so I don't get bored. Um, and, yeah. But I, we don't know. We knew it. The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give the exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. All right. They will be in touch in a couple of days, and told us to wait for their instructions. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was fighting this together. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Water is all Dolores wants. All Dolores wants. Liar, you just said you wanted food. No new problems are, te are troubling Ted this final time. Alright. So Mary Jane and Dolores want Dolores food. And she also and Dolores also wants water, so. The luggage might help. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy prefers apple juice, but right now we should give him some water. Um, Timmy is very pretty fatigued. If there was anything to report about the horse, this is where it would have been right now. Ted is left for the surface. Let's hope he'll be back soon. So the kids need both. Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful, red-haired woman, accompanied by a grumpy-looking mercenary type who was probably her guard. She told us she was a traitor and eagerly showed us the items she brought along. Okay. Well, I'll give us the option to uh, fix the gas mask. That's what I'm wanting down. If, if it was hard to return her down, because of that damn truthfulness, but we did it anyway. The woman seemed a bit disappointed and tried to offer us schematics for some weird gun. We, oh, we turned that down too. It's not like we have any tools around here anyway. Mary Jane, Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Timmy was, has rested the horses. Mary Jane had a food, right? Yeah. Maybe yeah, food, fatty. The radio camp our street has been especially maddening lately. They're acting like real savages. We won't stand for that. Someone should show them that the innocent survivors of the wasteland aren't just miserable victims. And that someone should be us. We're gonna take it to their home base. 
And we broke the gun, too. Damn it, Mary Jane. We weren't prepared well enough. The bandits were war paint was way superior to ours, so was their aim. We came back empty-handed, defeated with a few scratches. Mary Jane could feel uh, is feeling safe. Who went in his coffin size shelter? Timmy, Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young young boy. He's doing just fine. Dolores has the drink sometimes. We really miss the life we had, the space, the sky, the food, more food. We wish we could go back to the time before this damn bomb truck. I realize there's only one way we can uh, protect ourselves from the bandits if they come back. If they come back. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that leaves us. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink sometimes. Jimmy prefers apple juice, but right now we should get him some water. Today's been fine for the Dolores thus far. So, the kids need drinks. Wouldn't it have been fantastic if we could get out and leave, walk the surface like we used to, smell the fumes and pollution? Ah, that's the scent of fumes. Still, it's better to be safe down here than get up there. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Sorry, I'm, I'm editing or doing something weird while I'm reporting. It's a little bit at 33% right now. If there was anything to report about the Dolores, this is where it would have been written. has been acting maddening lately. They're, they're acting like real savages. We don't stand for that. Somebody should show them that the innocent survivors of the wasteland are just miserable victims. And that someone should be us. We can't really do that. Today. Going out there and provoking these brutes is the last thing we want to do. Well, you've already done it. We simply don't stand a chance against them. Harsh, but that's the truth. Compared to them, we're innocent, delicate flowers. Mary Jane is pretty fatigued. Like well, a good scout, he is. Timmy is making the best out of his situation. He even seems cheerful. Dolores would really love to eat. Dolores needs both. Dolores has something. Has to do something. Enjoying the little things in life is important. Situation. So when Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter, she got really excited. She thinks that with a little luck and enough water and soil, we might be able to grow our own food. We don't know if these are vegetable seeds, but if they are, I think that might be worth a shot. Shall we use a bottle of water to start our own garden? Well, I want to. I don't really want to, but. Ted, you are a, you are a survivor! Here goes nothing. Soil, seeds, water. We'll see what happens in a few days. Time. Let's just hope these seeds don't turn out to be some useless flower. Mary Jane seems optimistic enough. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by some by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. We're gonna go for supplies. What a silly question. To the store, of course. We decided that bombs don't matter that much and our favorite store should still be our number one stop for groceries. We found it, or at least what was left of it. Most food on the shelves was outdated and rotten. A lot of eggs were smashed on the floor. Guess what? Soup cans don't expire until 2015. Good look, good. Good for us. It's 2017! They've expired so long ago! We found a shelf with a big sign that read everything for $0.99, so 99 cents. The only thing left were bottles of water, huh? Expensive. 
Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like a sounds like the right idea. Mary Jane has rested. Timmy is hungry. Timmy doesn't eat much, but he should drink. Dolores is finding well as much as anyone can be in this in, in finding well in this tiny shelter. Ted is hungry. Ted is really hungry. So let's just go here and click on that. So food for Ted. Water for Mary Jane. Both for Timmy. So food for Ted. Boat for Timmy. Water for Mary Jane, right? Both water food. Okay. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth in, on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? We'll send Mary Jane up there. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted is pretty deep. So... Mary Jane needs food. The fatties need food. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. The trip could be risky, but we could really use the smokes. Raider camp on our street has been especially maddening lately. They're acting like real savages. We won't stand for that! Somebody should show them that the innocent survivors of the wasteland aren't just miserable victims, and that someone should be us. Well, we can't do that because y'all broke the gun. If Ted was here, it probably wouldn't have broke. Somebody should really sort these bandits out, give them a run for their money. Uh, hold on. If y'all can't see it, the hand was in the way. Uh, we're 100% behind that idea. We're also 100% not going outside and risking our lives. Surely someone else can take care of the Raiders, right? Mary Jane is, is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this compensated shelter? <laughs> no news is good news. There's nothing new going on with you. There has to be some water left. Dolores should get it! Ted is stom Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted should drink something soon. So Ted needs both. Dolores needs water. We've been preparing for this ex expedition since yesterday. And feel ready to go ready to go right now. We should be the lucky one to venture us into the unknown. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Timmy went out to the wasteland, but we don't know uh, what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. No new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. So, fat as the truth. Today, an army broadcast interrupted our, let's just call it breakfast. Anyway, they seemed are very eager to evacuate us from here, but went, but then went over several things that needed to happen before they do it. First item on the list was up to us. We were given geographical coordinates that need to get, oh, need to get, and need to get there to leave a sign we're still alive. This should be easy with the map. Alright, that's the first event over. A quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left them a message in the bottle. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. Dolores is pretty fatigued. Ted is fine. Alright. So no one needs 
We know there's a group of bandits camped near our shelter, but we're not exactly powerless. With a bit of luck and force, maybe we can show them that we're not to be trifled with. We can't just murder them all, but it's worth a try, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't have any weapons, so yes, we are powerless. Somebody should really sort these bandits out, give them a run for their money. We're 100% um, behind that idea. We're also 100% not going outside and risking our lives. Surely somebody else can take care of the, the raiders, right? There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Dolores has not eaten for a while, Dolores. Uh, water is all Dolores wants. Where is water when Ted needs it? So, Dolores wants both, Ted needs water. Tentacles! Tentacles everywhere! Is that uh, is that a monster from Mars? Wait, they're not tentacles! It's the damn plant Mary Jane is growing! It has mutated and, and is out of control. Are those teeth? They're huge! We need to do something! I can't. There's nothing else we could use to fight that damn plant. We're lucky it didn't eat us alive. But it did steal from our food, some of our food. In what reality does a plant eat tomato soup? A tomato soup can. Is that even a world worth worth living in? Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about it all day. Luckily, they didn't take any water. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. So, water for. Uh, Water for Mary Jane. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It has no address or name on it, but we're pretty sure it's meant for us. Should we open it? Well, if it's if it's poisonous, we can always heal with the magic. I figured. Inside the suitcase, we found some soup, but yuck! It expired a long time ago! We're not feeling very well. Some of us spent the whole morning using the bucket in the corner. We're not accepting anonymous gifts ever again. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. It might, it might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Let's just hope this doesn't happen again. Half of our local city hall has been completely obliterated. The other half, however, looks pro look promising. So we went in to investigate the ruins. One of the survivor, one of the surviving rooms, was a small maintenance closet. The only thing inside was a bucket full of water with a mop standing on it. We managed to fill some of the bottles with the contents of that bucket. It does, it does look a bit funny. We just hope it doesn't taste of soap or something worse. Mary Jane could, um, caught something nasty. Timmy is very hungry and is really tired. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. Ted is hungry. So, uh, Timmy needs food. Ted needs food. nearby is cutting causing a lot of trouble not only are they armed dangerous cruel, cruel and bloodthirsty they're also loud and obnoxious we respect their right to party but not at the cost of our beauty sleep something needs to be done somebody should really sort out sort these bandits out give them a run for their money. We're 100% behind that idea, but uh, we're also 100% not, not going outside and risking our lives. Surely somebody else can take care of the Raiders, right? Mary Jane is quite hungry. Mary Jane is all well now. Timmy should eat something. Dolores will not last long without water. Where is water when Ted needs So, the kids need food, the parents need water. Water, water, food, food. 
friends and watch out the work of logging. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. Timmy should eat something. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. It is fine. So, Mary Jane needs uh, water. Timmy needs both. Both water. It's difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation. We do hope uh, this whole mess will be over soon, or else we might end up in a place much worse than this cozy shelter. Please give us another one. And please don't give us the axe one. I'm talking about the, uh, the government thing. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal and we might never get used to it. We hope the uh, help comes soon. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will it last? No new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. So, nothing, nothing, nothing. The bandit camp nearby is causing a lot of trouble. Not only are they armed, dangerous, cruel, and bloodthirsty, they're also loud and obnoxious. We respect their right to party, but not that at the cost of our beauty sleep. Nothing, so, I mean, something needs to be done. Going out there and provoking those brutes is the last thing we want to do. We simply don't stand a chance against them. It's harsh, but that's the truth. Compared to them, we're innocent, delicate flowers. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Like the good Scotty is, Timmy is making the best of this situa situation. He even seems cheerful. Ted needs water this time. When we, when we heard a knock out of the door uh, this morning, we held our breath in fear, but but we soon heard children's voices coming from outside. We decided to open up. It, it turned out the voices belonged to a pair of Girl Scouts. They used to sell cookies, but they had branched out and now they offer other items too. Smart girls! Yeah, they actually are smart. Although the girls are very brave to uh, uh, brave to walk around the wasteland like that, sadly they didn't have anything of interest to us, so we declined their offer. They wished us a nice day and left. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Some water for Timmy would be nice. No new problems are troubling Ted this one morning. So the kids need water? We got scared a little bit today when all of a sudden our map just fell off the wall. Maybe our shelter is haunted. When the map fell out, it revealed some sort of safe behind it. We don't remember installing it, but we can probably crack it. Well, we technically have all the time in the world. Should we try? Yeah. Alright, we didn't rip the map. I think we got some food and water. Okay. We're not... We're still not certain how the map fell down, if it was some ghost playing tricks on us. It's a friendly one. Inside the safe, we found some useful items, so uh, we'll do this ghost with the courtesy of not calling an exorcist. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. Our little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. Only a handful of the uh, buildings in our town survived the blast wave. One of them was a local bus station. It used to be the central hub for bums and vagabonds in the area. But now it's ju it just stands there empty. We decided it's worth checking out. Hoping someone left a few kit soup cans behind. Ransacking through backpacks turned out to be quite profitable. A lot of people had a weird fixation on carrying soup cans with them. Luckily for us, they always pick their favorite flavor. I uh, picked their favorite flavor, tomato. Mary Jane didn't ca um, cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. That voice cracked though. 
No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. Dolores would, should, um, would really love to eat something. Dolores is really tired. Ted is hungry. So. Parents need food. We're almost certain there are bandits around. Running into them would be a big mistake. Yeah. Another radio broadcast from the middle. Fuck. Another bro radio broadcast from the military was a huge shock for us. Not only did they postpone our rescue, they ordered us to. Sur they ordered all survivors to get rid of their firearms. Are they nuts? How are we supposed to defend ourselves? It better be worth it. Since we didn't have a gun to begin with, soldiers sh shouldn't have any issues with us. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is being very brave. Laura should, would really love something, would really love to eat something. Ted is really thirsty. So, um, Mary Jane needs food. The women need food, Ted needs water. something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Timmy is very hungry. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Dolores would really love, so love to eat something. Dolores has to drink sometimes. We left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. So badass needs food. Uh, fast needs food. Timmy needs both. Alright. Fattest needs food. Timmy and Dolores need both. That noise is coming from below. This is probably the right time to check the manhole in the corner. The one that's been locked tight ever since we got this. Going into a tight, dark tunnel is not a good idea, especially with those weird noises coming from it. They are giving us the creeps, even up here. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink. Fast. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is being very brave. Good for you, Timmy. Dolores is not doing is doing quite well. She just can't find anything to complain about today. That was the first time I mentioned this. Okay, so it seems like this Dolores doesn't complain a lot. So Mary Jane Fast needs water. Alright, the bandit camp nearby is causing a lot of trouble. Not, not only are they armed, dangerous, cruel, and bloodthirsty, they're all they're also loud and obnoxious. We respect their right to party, but um, not at the cost of our beauty sleep. Someone needs something needs to be done. Yes, it does. Okay. Somebody should somebody should really sort these bandits out. Give them a run for their money. We're 100% behind that idea. We're also 100% not going outside and risking our lives. Surely somebody else can take care of the rage, right? Mary Jane feel is feeling safe. Who went in this coffin saw his shelter? Timmy seems okay, as much as he can be in our current situation. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We should we hope it still uh, stays this way. So we hope it'll stay this way. Alright. There are only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker, so we thought, hey, why not play some games? And not just for kids, you know? Yeah, tricks for kids. Right. It was very unwise of Ted to walk right into the hands of the gang of filthy bandits camp nearby. He is not coming back. Alright, just under an hour. We thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying and we quickly stopped. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Dolores would not last long without water. So Timmy and Dolores need water. Right? But that's fat as 
Kita setiga nih gua. It is very difficult to prepare for the for unforeseen consequences when you do, when you don't see them coming. Well, they are unforeseen by definition. So does that make a lot? So does that does make a lot of sense? We can't say we were prepared for what happened. I think y'all were. You had some experience. Fond memories are one thing, but that. But we need to be ready for the harsh reality that awaits us. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? No, nothing new to report on to me. You, everything seems okay with the Lords. Uh, caught by the bandits as well. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Nothing new to report on Timmy. The Lord should be really love to eat something. We know there's a group of bandits camped near our shelter, but we're not exactly powerless. But with a bit of luck and force, maybe we can show them that we're not to be trifled with. We can't just murder them all, but it's worth a try, isn't it? And unless Mary Jane gets back quickly, uh, run, we might run out of water. Going out there and provoking these brutes is the last thing we want to do. We simply don't see a chance against them. It's harsh, but that's the truth. Compared to them, we're innocent, delicate flowers. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy doesn't eat much, but he should drink. Dolores has to drink some water. So water. Wait. That crass can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yet, for some reason, we would like to tidy this myself. The giant green cockroaches are pretty good for the food. Oh my! That, can, that thing is huge. And then there's another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We already we already feel all dirty. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's just doing fine. He's doing just fine. Doris is rested, so they don't need anything. How about we put the radio to good use? Something might be on air even now. with uh, the yawn the comment the commotion coming from outside could only mean one thing bandits Mary Jean probably walked right into them we need to face the, the possibility that she is not going to die. nothing nothing and nothing we could we could hear nothing but the annoying static better luck next time Timmy is good well at least he was five minutes ago life is hard for all of us right now but Dolores is in a good mood today we hope it'll stay we were, we were we were paid a uh, visit today by a young man worried about his twin sister, who went missing missing in the bandit camp not long ago. Back yeah, uh, while acting as a spy and trying to get her hands on the plans of the new bandit fortress, he seems to trust us fully and is very friendly, but uh, obviously concerned. He asked that we come to his aid in, in his hour of need, and really good um and really good things might happen to us if we manage to succeed. The young man was assisted by a group of other survivors, and all armed but really friendly. We found the girl, threw her, threw her a weapon, and fought off the bandits guarding the exit. The siblings were happy to be reunited, but also very confused. Turns out the bandit leader was actually their father. It's, it's a crazy small, small world we live in. Anyway, they were really thankful and promised to contact us again soon. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. We can't leave Timmy without water for her too long. Doris is fine and, fine and well, as much as anyone could be fine and well in this tiny situation, or in this tiny shelter. Uh, 
Alright, judging by the sound. Last thing we expected to hear while sitting on an NFL officer was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player. And who who had probably never heard a trumpet player in his in his entire life. He came with a friend who knocked on the door, he and he and demanded that we let the merry men enter. So they could take from their witch rich and give to the boar. Should we let him in? Yeah, because we're pretty poor right now. Or are we? What we got it? So we so we had those weird people over and they were more than kind. They gave us a first aid kit and we spent a lovely afternoon together dancing and singing. Then they left. Timmy is in t terrible shape. We need to give him some water now. Doris is fine and well, as much as anyone can be fine and well in the sunny Timmy, water. That's it. Yeah. Timmy is rested. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back in safe and sound. We learned a valuable lesson, re lesson recently. If you don't do anything about roaches in your home, you will end up with more roaches. That's not ideal. If we don't do anything about it, we will end up all glowy just like that. Our new cockroach roommates can be a bit messy, disgusting, and annoying, but surely this is not the worst thing that could have happened to us. There's n and there's not much we can do about it anyway. Maybe one day we'll, we'll manage to convince them to pay the rent. He is very hungry, so food. Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't we didn't know. He claimed to be used to be an accountant, but he survived as a trader and a gambler. He offered us a card game for a bet of two water bottles. So we play if we can't play, so. Gambling is a terrible habit. Th uh, what kind of example is that to set the kids? The kids would be playing. The kid would be playing. We need some supplies. We need supplies. We're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. How about getting something to drink? Getting Timmy something to drink. Like Alright, um, there's water. There has to be some radio chatter about airdrops in the mil- There has been some radio chatter, chatter about airdrops from the military. It's about time. All those taxes had to pay for a crate or two for us, right? Shall we head out to get them? We can't. Or we can't use the gas mask. It was too dangerous to go out there with go out there without any protection. So we decided to stay and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Timmy might not look look like it, but he's a strong young boy and he's doing just fine. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. I lied. I'm dying inside. Alright, uh, the wretches seem to be more or more organized with every passing day. At first it was just one or two of them, but nowadays we see small columns of them marching through the shelter. We need to do we need to do deal with this situation before our before their civilization becomes superior to ours. Oh he got it. Living with cockroaches can't be too bad, right? Even if they're stealing our pillows, socks, and wallets, why would roaches need wallets? And smell and that smell is horrible. Timmy fell sick. Okay, that's good. That would make it. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there was any trouble in the, in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness, and their owner started growling in the most terrifying way. We only had we only had moments to decide what to do. Can't really do anything, so just get out. In other, in other circumstances, we might have risked battling a beast in the darkness, but for some reason, we felt it was not to our liking. 
So we screamed and screamed with terror. The creature was probably more afraid of us than we were of it. And left in a hurry. Surviving the apocalypse is no easy task, we can tell you that much. We survived 58 days. Tell us what happened with the horse. I'm guessing she. I'm guessing she got caught. Alright, so we've survived 57 days. We've consumed 13 bottles of water. We've um, consumed 11 cans of soup. We defended our shelter one time. We've, we, every time we've gotten a yes or no decision, we've always chosen yes, and that was five times. As I said, note, we haven't done any no decisions. Successful expeditions, 11 out of 8. I don't know how that works, but that was probably due to the going out when, with the, uh, with a telephone, maybe an airdrop, which that kind of count as an expedition, uh, and probably doing the government task. Items brought back from tw Expedition 21. So, enter. Water. The uh, Okay. Look, it's just a pizza on the roof. Da 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 Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of 60, 60 seconds. If you have, hit that like button down below to show you support for the channel because it would be amazing if you did. And yeah, as I said, I hope you have enjoyed. This is Sunday, Jump to Ground again. Yeah, take care, everybody. Bye bye. See ya in the next episode of 60 seconds. Or for y'all, it'll, it'll probably be 7. But yeah, see ya!